Learn not the way of the heathen, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. The smith with the tongs both worketh in the coals, and fashioneth it with the hammer, and worketh it with the strength of his arms. The carpenter stretcheth out his rule, he marketh it out with a line, he fitteth it with planes, and he marketh it out with the compass, and maketh it after the figure of a man. He planteth an ash, then shall it be for a man to burn. For he will take thereof, and warm himself, yea, he kindleth it, and baketh bread, yea, he maketh a god. He burneth part thereof in the fire, with part thereof he eateth flesh, he roasteth roast, and is satisfied, yea, he warmeth himself, and the residue thereof he maketh a god, even his graven image. He falleth down unto it, and worshipeth it, and prayeth unto it, and saith, Deliver me, for thou art my God. And none considereth in his heart, neither is there knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire, yea, also I have baked bread upon the coals thereof, I have roasted flesh, and eateth it. And shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? Shall I fall down to the stalk of a tree? They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image, and pray unto a God that cannot save. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else.